Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Casual Gamers Online. Ashley here, and today this is a long-awaiting patch. Okay, uh, in no, uh, in one day before Valentine's Day on February 13. Okay, in Singapore time tomorrow, we're gonna have this patch. Okay, you can see basically on Wednesday. Okay, UTC. This America time, 3:30 to 2100. Okay, it's going to take seven hours or even more. So, uh, not say never trust the timing, but we definitely need to give some time to Nexon because they are famous for not patching in time. So hopefully tomorrow you work in time, but uh, I doubt so. So please do not complain on our Facebooks and then say that the the patch delay or whatnot. We are already used to it, guys. So when it put to one o'clock, it might be four o'clock or even worse. Like the last patch, it actually extend to at night eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock. So today. Tomorrow morning in Singapore time, the Asia time, yeah, seven thirty a.m. all the way to one p.m. The patch will be on, and then few things that they highlight. Okay, we don't have the actual patch notes yet, but they do have a live stream on uh, this morning at eight a.m. Singapore time on Twitch, and I actually uh, screenshot a few important uh, points so that you guys do not have to go through the one hour stream time okay so basically i'll cut it down to 10 minutes and hopefully i can get all the information across to you all but the definite information will only come tomorrow when the uh tonight or this evening when the patch notes is out but basically this video will cover most of the things that will be covered in the patch note okay the main important few things are the character rebalancing okay new level 200 achievement and rewards that one currently is not covered in the stream this morning so i'm not going to touch about it but the two highlight will be the character rebalancing and the number three point which is the new master label season four i even get a screen grab for the stream itself to show your guys okay how it looks like and then actually how how it fares okay which is actually quite nice and other miscellaneous improvement like the ui and whatnot uh that i will not cover so currently uh let's talk about the first thing about the character rebalancing altogether there's five characters that will be rebalanced Okay, and sadly to say, finally the nerf for Lumi is here. Okay, and the nerf is ultimate. Okay, a lot of people cry out that Lumi is a broken class. It's not fair, it's too strong. Yes, I agree. Uh, the streamer himself uh, actually streamed this morning and he's actually maining Lumi now. He kind of feels sad at the same time. You can hear from his voice and then you can look at his a bit of teary eye. <laughs> okay, he's trying to solo, but he did the uh, damage test on the test server. He said that he's actually quite okay with it. But I believe that the nerf should be quite huge Okay, on it But anyway, I'm going to do video recording for the skills Because on the patch notes, like last time They will never show you the percentage that is nerfed or is buffed So basically, I'm going to uh, do a screen recording of all the classes And then have you guys uh, look at it tomorrow And compare the difference between how many percent is done And then how many percent is nerfed Okay, how many percent is buffed and how many percent is nerfed So from here Let's go to the screen grabs I, I got today. Okay, uh, the first class character rebalancing that we see here, okay, will be the fire poison mage. Okay, fire poison mage is a big disappointment for a lot of people. Okay, they thought that this will be a single target ultimate mage, uh, mage magician class, but it turns out that uh, it actually mere is actually a, a average or even below average. So for here you can see the. This time the buff is good, okay, they no longer do those type of ridiculous buff like third skill which you don't use. So basically this is the fourth skill that all fire poison mage will be using. Okay, skill damage increase for paralyzed meteor shower, mist eruption, flame haze and then inflict. So this itself is a good buff. And then for the hyper skill itself, also all the reinforcement efficiency improve. Okay, for the Megiddo Flame right? that I believe will be the one level 170 hyper. Okay, skill damage increase also. So for anyone who actually main or have alternate fire poison mage, congratulations, this buff will be super awesome for you guys. Okay, but we'll look at it uh, on a later part. Let's go to the next one. Next one will be the Mercedes. Okay, Mercedes. Uh, a lot of people has been asking for Mercedes buff and this time you get it okay at the same time so awesome because it's not a third skill buff that is useless this is a fourth skill buff so you can actually get Spikes Royal which is the main DPS skill skill damage increase lightning edge skill damage increase gas dive okay leaf tornado and then wrath of Anvil. so all these have skill damage increase okay 
like what I said before, I'm going to do a video recording of all the skill, their percents and whatnot, and then compare it after the buff, how much percent increase for that, and so you guys can decide. And then for all those pro people, pro Mercedes and pro fire poison mage, uh, pro, pro night workers and all, you can leave in the comments below whether you are glad about all this buff. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one have two characters here. The above character was Blaze Wizard. Okay, Blaze Wizard has been the longest one that a lot of people wanted to buff. I still see quite a number of Blaze Wizard, okay, but not as much as before. A lot of people have given up uh, this class, but basically this time itself, the buff came in. Okay, the main two attack skills, which is the Blazing Extinction and Final Orbital Flame, they have a skill damage increase and hopefully it's significant enough for people to go back to Blaze Wizard. The Hyper skill itself, Catalyst and Dragon Familiar also have a skill damage increase. So a big clap for the Blaze Wizard. Okay, hopefully the Obedo Flame is good enough for, for uh, than the, the bar before, okay. And for Nightwalker, awesome. Okay, anyone who mean Nightwalker should have a big shout out, a uh, big hooray and rain dance now. Why? Because they buff the Quantipole Star, the Quantipole Star including Dark Omen. These are the two main skills that Nightwalker use for bossing and mobbing at the same time. So the skill damage increase will be a significant buff for this Nightwalker. I am sorry for the main character who stream your face is on the left side because I'm doing a screenshot uh, this morning. So I can go through with the guys. So congratulations to Night Walkers also. Okay, you guys will be awesome. And then uh, for pro Night Walkers, I have people in my guild. So I'll actually ask them to share with me whether is there a great significant improve in bossing and how far how far they can go. And lastly, the one that I don't really like to cover because as you guys know, I actually main two main character now. One will be Evan Godzilla, which is my main Evan, and the other one will be Godzilla 22, which is my Lumi. Okay, have both carried a level 40 Brazer weapon, but because of this uh, character rebalance, Lumi has the most skill, how to say, nerf. Okay, throughout the entire one year plus history. Okay, for the last one year or so in Maple Story Mobile, there has there there has not been a mega mega nerf on a character. Even Evan is super OP when the time is launched. The only buff they do is on mana burst which is not much uh, difference. Okay, really the difference is very very insignificant. But for this Lumi debuff, okay, for this Lumi nerf, okay, they actually nerf the third skill which is the death seek. Um, hey, the death seek skill damage decrease, right? That one will create problem with mobbing. I'm not sure whether SF144 and 153 will be affected. Because we needed that skill to clear the mobs when it's on hyper. Okay, we don't equip Enders at all. And for bossing wise, R Reflection, Apocalypse, uh, Morning Star, not so much, but Enders, the three main skills will be nerfed. So, in this case, all the Lumi guys will be affected. Okay, for that case, today I'm going to do a video on Kios Hauntail, Solo Kios Hauntail, Solo Kios Zakum and including guild dungeon and then tomorrow i'm going to do a video after the nerf and then see what's the difference in damage i'm going to solo all three at the same time i hopefully i can clear solo kiosk until if can't i will just do video on kiosk uh, zakum and then see how it fares okay but today will be the last time i'm going to use it to boss with the buff and then hopefully i can upload it by this evening and let you guys know or by tonight or maybe tomorrow when we have like seven hours spare to to wait for Maple Story mobile patch. So these are the character rebalance, okay, all these five characters. So we'll move on, there'll be like three major events coming up. Okay, but before the three major events, let's talk about the master label. Okay, the new master label season will be updated tomorrow, which is super awesome. As you guys know, my god, Jinla Evan just crafted his master label uh, Dev 6 set. I actually find that Dev 6 set is quite nice, but a lot of people are wearing it. And this new master label is so nice also at the same time so i'm contemplating myself should i craft another set of master label and sell away the one that i already crafted i um, believe that a lot of old players who are having the dev 6 set might do the same thing also sell away the the item that they craft themselves and then buy this new set itself so for this snow team right okay uh this is when you have like five five pieces of master label in your inventory okay not when you're wearing so when your inventory right you can actually have this mount okay this will be the mount for the master label 
and then at the same time this will be the weapon and how it looks like the outfit the hat the accessories and whatnot it actually look quite awesome okay and there's a secret quest so the moment when you collected like uh all the master labels the five master labels in your inventory there will be a secret quest that will pop up and then this quest when you complete right you're able to get the facial uh the face accessories okay something that is awesome okay uh, and then the eyes will be of course through the normal royal pools but the face itself will be special okay uh so that case make sure you guys collect in inventory and then have a chance to do this okay let's look at the female character okay the weapon looks nice also and the way they attack also looks nice okay this is the event so basically these are the master label we'll look forward and i'm going to live stream on thursday okay i'm going to inform you guys first i'm going to live stream on thursday in the late afternoon or evening or even at night maybe 9 pm i'll put it on the community post and inform you guys i'm going to do live stream like uh crafting this m label set so that will be all for now and then the three major events that is coming up the one that a lot of people are waiting for is this soul meat event okay this soul meat event is to make the soul ring okay basically you hunt mobs and they drop coins and from the coins itself you can actually purchase uh the items from the shop and then from the shop itself you have the stone including the scroll you can actually create the ring i have a video showcasing how to make the phantom ring like maybe five six months back so this uh event itself you are using crystal to buy they don't show any crystal so you can't use crystal to buy the scroll the last time you can actually use crystal to buy the scroll so you can actually craft two rings and this ring is trans transferable so as long as you don't equip you put in your storage you can wait for your favorite character to come come by and actually have this ring uh pass it to them and the difference between this ring and the 30 days at att attendance ring is this ring is permanent so 30 days actually expired and the good thing about having this ring is because when you have a very strong out character you only can have one 30 days ring so having this soul make ring make ready right you can actually have your out character equip one ring that is permanent or your main character equip one ring that is permanent and then the attendance ring give it to your out character so this is awesome or you can craft the ring just to wait for all your demon all the resistant class that is coming up soon or hopefully soon and it'll be awesome for you so this will be the uh, first main event the second main event will be the will be this maple pass event okay this maple pass event you do have quests like for example connect for 120 minutes and then you can actually receive the normal reward above okay and then the premium reward is when you unlock it with crystals so if you have crystals to spare you can actually collect the premium reward here but of course you have a few times that you can clear using meso okay guys do note that you cannot clear all the quests with meso because some of the guys are super rich with meso so you only can clear a certain amount of numbers so never overuse it because by the time when the end comes okay it's super difficult to clear and you can't clear it uh you're going to waste it so make sure clear the easy one first and those that you find difficult you can use meso to clear and then get the uh reward so this will be the maple pass event and then the last event i don't have a screenshot for that yeah i don't have the sc screenshot for that so for the last event itself it will be the let me close this window okay so for the last uh maple event will be the attendance event so this attendance event is not like every day for like 30 days the 28 days uh ring event or uh, it will actually stretch out to one month or two months so it's still undecided until the actual patch note is out or tomorrow during the game when i update you all with new videos i'll go through with you all so basically for now uh these are the three events that is ongoing so i'm going to do a summary again character be rebalancing for this entire patch notes including master new master label season which i'm looking forward for and lastly the three major events from maple story mobile so do leave in the comments below guys uh, how you feel about the buff and then also the nerf for lumi okay a lot of lumi main will be set i'm uh, currently a bit of a bit of set because my main still evan but actually i've been always contemplating whether to cut my evan equipment all the way to lumi so i can have a super power superman superwoman lumi but basically because of this case now i decided not to cut over and then stay and have a look and see how bad the nerf is and for that i'm going to go bossing for pure zakam and pure son till now so thank you guys for watching please remember to subscribe if you haven't do so click on the notification bell so the moment when i upload any new maple story mobile content you'll be first to be notified 
And for those who always subscribe, support and comment in my channel, I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, you guys always make my day and your positive comments and your support, I really thank to you. And for those guys who always dislike my video, please leave in the comments below what I can do better for the video uh, by not leaving a dislike. But I really appreciate all those who like and share and you guys make this channel grow bigger and bigger. This channel belongs to you guys. I love you so much. And then hopefully this, after the patch, we can continue to be happily mapling. Okay, cheers. Love you all. See you all. Bye.